An existing AATCC test method is integral to judging whether a fabric has one major attribute of moisture management, absorbency. In fact, one of the new moisture management test methods calls for a determination of whether a fabric meets a prescribed absorbency threshold as measured by AATCC Test Method 79. Test Method 79, Absorbency of Textiles, has been widely used since 1954 as a key quantifier of successful textile fabric preparation, dyeing, and finishing. It's often referred to as the water drop test. As before, we should understand the definition of a key term, in this case, absorbency. As defined by AATCC, absorbency is the propensity of a material to take in and retain a liquid, usually water, in the pores and spaces between the yarns of the material. The significance of test method 79 is that the test results indicate whether a fabric will hold water on its surface or take water into the fabric. If the fabric does not move water through its structure, as related to moisture management properties, then movement and drying cannot be measured. The test procedure is a simple one, using a barrette and barrette stand, an embroidery hoop, a stopwatch, and distilled water. A barrette, which can be adjusted to deliver 15 to 25 drops of water per milliliter, is set up on a stand. A fabric specimen is mounted in a 152 millimeter embroidery hoop so that the surface of the fabric is taut. Then the mounted specimen is positioned 0.38 inch below the tip of the barrette. Once the specimen is in place, one drop of water is allowed to fall on the fabric and a stopwatch is started. If the water drop does not immediately disappear, it is observed until its spectral reflection, shine, disappears. The elapsed time is recorded if less than 60 seconds. Five timed readings are taken in different locations. Water drops on fabrics that have high absorbency may disappear so quickly that an operator cannot start a stopwatch fast enough to begin timing. The longer a water drop shows a reflection, the less absorbent it is. The first moisture management test method to reach official standard status is AATCC Test Method 195, Liquid Moisture Management Properties of Textile Fabrics, 2005. Test Method 195 uses an instrument, appropriately called a moisture management tester, which has an upper and lower sensor field, each with seven concentric rings. It measures movement and content of liquid as it moves through and along fabric specimen surfaces. Several aspects of the test method procedure lead to the understanding of the test results. The test liquid is a specified sodium chloride solution designed to allow the recording of electrical conductivity changes. However, the test solution is not a perspiration solution equivalent. The second noteworthy aspect of the test method is the application of the test liquid. An amount of 0.22 cubic centimeters of test liquid is delivered onto the back of the fabric specimen during a 20-second time frame. The specimen is sandwiched between two sensor fields, which allows measurements to be taken on both sides of the fabric, as the liquid is then free to move through the specimen's thickness and across the back and face, or what would be the outside of the fabric in a garment. Such moisture movement simulates what happens when a garment lies against sweating skin, the backside of the fabric. The fabric absorbs the perspiration and moves the liquid to the outside of the garment, the face of the fabric, where the moisture can evaporate, causing a cooling effect. The instrument software automatically stops the test after 120 seconds and calculates the test's units of measurement. Test method 195's units of measurement for the top and bottom surfaces, the face and back of the fabric are wetting time, absorption rate, maximum wetted radius, and spreading speed. Overall liquid moisture management capability and accumulative one-way transport capability can also be calculated by the instrument software. The test method offers some examples of grading schemes, but does not prescribe the use of any one of them to analyze the test data. And different grading systems may be necessary for different products.